Hey, what is going on everybody? Today I'm doing a special real versus fake episode. This is the all famous DR Ohm Intense. So this has been faked guys. Be very, very careful with this. As I always tell you, the fakes go for the vintage version of the fragrance it copies. So this is no exception. Of course that some exceptions to the rule apply. So I'm going to tell you one exception. So this right here is a fake. This is a, a fake of Fahrenheit. This is actually the first, first version of Fahrenheit. This is the vintage. And since Fahrenheit has been with us for so long, there's a new fake out there. This right here is the first version of Fahrenheit, the one with the red planet. This has been in production since 1988 until 2002. This is the fourth version of Fahrenheit. The crooks decided to go for the, for a new version, but this doesn't happen very often. This one has in, has been in production since 2007 until 2014. So whenever a box changes appearance, it also means that the juice inside has been reformulated. I have showed you in my previous video of Dior Homme Intense reformulation, how you can check Dior's formulas. So if we, if we are searching for it, we will always find it, even, even if it's a fake. So this is where the, the formula is written. This is the fourth formula for Fahrenheit. And let me see where they have the, uh, let me see if it's here. Yeah, right here. This is the first formula and this right here is the fourth formula. So you can always check for uh, the formula you have, but you don't really need to do that. You need to remember that whenever a box of a fragrance changes aesthetics, it also means that most probably it has been reformulated. So this is the exception to the rule that fakes do exist for different versions of the same fragrance and i would like to tell you that fahrenheit has a new appearance this is the the one that changed the the appearance fahrenheit cologne was launched in 2015 i think yeah this is the new appearance every fahrenheit with the newest formula you will see that has this black rim all over it. I just wanted to to explain this uh, this rule that somehow has exceptions if the fragrance has is on the market for a lot of years. So this is the fake of the vintage. This is the fake of the fourth version, the one that was produced since 2007 until 2014. And this is the new look. This is unauthentic. These are the, the way the Fahrenheit or the toilette look. I made this side, uh, side notes so I can explain to you why I'm always saying that the fakes go for the vintage version. So this is no exception. This has been launched in 2007 as a flanker to Dior Homme. And this is the vintage right here. This is the authentic vintage. This is the fake. That's copying the vintage. What we're gonna do first here, I'm gonna do the scale weighting. So, let's see what's the difference between them. So this is the, the authentic. It has 400 and 15 grams and this right here is the fake 
it has 420 grams so this is 5 grams heavier than the, the real one now we're gonna take a look at the differences on the folding so as usual I'm gonna use for a better contrast this yellow pen so just as a joke I'm gonna sell this one on eBay for 700 million thousands of euros or dollars or whatever this is the veteran right here this is the one that has showed you differences between real and fakes so let's go for it keep in mind the one in the left is the authentic the one in the right is the fake so first of all the fake does not have the CD sticker on the folding this is not a big deal you can it, it's it's not hard for the crooks to to put the um, the sticker on but this one doesn't have doesn't have it maybe other fakes do so don't quote me on this this is this isn't necessarily mandatory but as usual if we are taking a closer look on the real one you can actually see that the folds fall into place and they follow the margins of the box they go in straight lines this one however it doesn't you see this this angle right here goes too much to the center and the folds are touching each other and overlapping you see now we're gonna take a look at the fold on the back the folds on the real one are following straight lines in the center they are parallel this line you see this all this line in the center is parallel they do not touch each other but in here they do overlap and it doesn't give a, a nice packaging quality you see here the folds are overlapping and also if I'm gonna when I'm gonna take the fold out the fold the cellophane in the fake will always cover a larger surface than the cellophane on the authentic so when it comes to folds there is something that I want to show you again so this is the on the fake the fold is on this wall you see this wall right here and it doesn't look doesn't look really good you see this fold it's kind of messy you can see this line right here with where, where it has been glued but so this is on this wall but on the real one this is where it's at it's not placed in the center so this is the real one you see the real one and it's on this wall the folding and on the fake it's on the other wall and also i've noticed that dior is uh, placing the folds of the cellophane on this wall so if you would look at it it's on the right on the right wall on the fake the folding is on the left wall as you look at it so to prove this i have these this dior ohm some different dior ohms this is dior ohm intense 150 ml this is dior ohm parfum and this is dior ohm intense so this is the 2014 batch this is 100 ml 2014 batch this is 150 ml 2013 batch and this is Dior Homme Parfum you see this one as well has the fold on the right wall this is the fake I'm gonna take it out for a little so if you look at it the folds on Christian Dior fragrances seems seem to to be done the cellophane seems to be folded on the right wall of the fragrances 
This is Diorom Intense, Diorom Intense, Diorom Intense, Diorom Parfum. I don't have a new box or other Christian Dior fragrance, but my guess is that they are all folded on the right wall. So the fake has the fold on the left wall and it's not looking good. You see, you see this big cellophane wrap here on the real ones. The fold is really thin. You see this line in the center. This one is a little bit bigger, but it's not as big as this. Look, you see it? We're going to have to take them out. So I'm going to take out the, um, I'm going to unwrap the, the fake first. I'm going to try to be careful with this because I want to, I want to show you, I'm going to try it as, as best as I can not to break it or anything. So I can show you the differences between the, the cellophane of the fake and the cellophane of the real one. Let me take it out. So this one should actually, if I'm gonna, if we're gonna put it one on top of another, the fake one should definitely cover a larger area. My guess is that this is why the, the foldings do overlap. I've seen this in the majority of fakes. And now guys, the big thing. Remember, this is the moment when the clouds parted and the angels sang. I don't know if there has been um, an um, unwrapping and unboxing of a Diorom vintage. As you can see, when I took it out of the box, I cut it. I cut the cellophane off. You can check out the unboxing of the um, Diorom Intense Vintage in my previous video when, when I've talked about the reformulations. So let's take the sticker out first. Yes, it's kind of uh, really well placed. It's not an easy thing to, to take it out properly. I may mess it up. Yeah, I'm going to mess it up. But anyway. Uh, yeah. Okay, I took it out. So, let's hear the angels sing, baby. Dum -da -da -dum. Now, let's take it out carefully because I want to show you the differences between in the cellophane. Come on out. Yeah, I didn't manage to, to take it out properly, but so this is the fake. This is the real. This is the fake. And now let's take a look at it. If I would align the cellophane here, the one in the back is the real. The one in the front is the fake. So you see, there's a big difference. This one has is covering a larger area. I have taken the cellophane off and I've showed you what I was just saying in all my videos that the folding the cellophane in the fake cover a larger area than the one than the cellophanes from the authentic fragrances. Now we're gonna take a look at the boxes and I gotta tell you from the get-go the fake looks really, really well done. It's really, it's really hard to, yeah, it's, it's really hard to spot any difference. Yeah, there is, um, okay. So I'm gonna bring them closer. So keep in mind, the one in the left is the real one 
the one on the right is the fake one. As you can see, there's a slight difference in color, but the texture is just the same. This is just the color. You see this, um, I don't know how to call it. It has a, a slightly lighter texture in color, but if you touch it, the texture is the same. The original has a leather-like texture and the fake as well, but this this comes off um, in a lighter color. This on the fake looks like it has some, some small gray areas and the real one doesn't, but the texture is the same. So keep in mind, this is the box of the vintage. This has the window-like shape. The, the current formula on the market has the, some lines, one here and one here, but the, the vintage has this window-like shapes and lines. Right here at the bottom, this is the 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounces, and this is the 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounces. Now, there's a slight difference. You see this pressed line here un underneath the OR? It goes a little more to the left than it goes to the right. So this line, the line stops here, but if you compare it to the position of the OR letters, here it goes a little to the left more than it goes to the right, you see? Now, on the fake, this doesn't happen. So the line is kind of centered very well. It doesn't go well, it doesn't go too much to the left. You see, it doesn't go too much to the left. It's centered better than the authentic. This is the authentic, this is the fake. The size, the 100 ml 3.4 fluid ounces is also pressed on the box, just like the, the real one. But the, but the real one has a better quality of the press they use to, to stamp the box. In here, it gets some, it gets some, it gets a little dirty. I don't know why. It's looked like it's been weared down, but here it's really clean. And this is 2009. So check this quality material here. These pressed lines are overlapping the, the silver line here. In the real one, this doesn't happen. These pressed lines stop just where this silver line is printed. They do not overlap the silver line in the real one. On the fake, they do, you see? You see, these three lines that come all the way from here overlap the silver. This was the front of the box. On the side, absolutely no difference. The positioning is done really well on the fake of the pressed lines. Take a look at the front. Yeah, no difference here on the side. Also no difference here. Yeah, now I'm gonna show you the bottom. As you can see, there is no bad, no barcode on the real one and there is no barcode on the fake one. So the batch code is written here. This is, let me bring the zoom a bit. Yeah, so this is 9Y O2. I have explained you in my previous video how you can check for yourself and understand the way Dior is doing the batch codes. I'm gonna put the link in the description of this video of my previous video so you can check the formulas and the batch codes and understand them. On the fake there is also a batch code but this is also um, this has also been 
pressed on the box, but there is a much better quality on the real one with the press machine than on the fake one. Doesn't this one looks kind of fat? The letters look kind of fat. This is 9P01. So I'm sure that uh, if we're gonna check this batch code, it, it's gonna tell you that it's real, but it's actually not. They they did a good job putting the the batch code on the fake because usually they they do not uh, put batch codes on the fakes. The writing on the real one has a much, much better quality than the fake one. This looks a little bit thicker and the color in this is, is um, it's really hard for, for my camera to pick it. So if you would not have the real one to put them side by side, just this alone, just this alone has a stunning quality. Stunning. But imagine that your is doing so quality products that if you put them side by side, this one will always win. So there's also a difference. This, this sign has the colors inverted. You see? This one here has the silver on top. This one here has the silver at the bottom. The writing, if you look at the size, 100 ml, is a little bit thinner on the real one than on the fake one. This is thicker, the font on it. It has the same, yeah, the, it, it has the same um, text when it comes to words. This is the, the formula that I've told you about. This is the vintage formula. In my previous video, I have showed you where you can find the formula for each Dior. So the fake is copying every info that found on the original. So the formula is also copied here. You see, this is the authentic, this is the fake. I'm going to use this magnifying glass. So that's the formula. That's number 03214 slash A. On the fake one, it's also copied. This is 03214 slash A. So the fake is copying the info that finds on the, the fragrance, on the box, the words, the exact same words. So this is, this is the place where you, where you can have the formula. 03214 slash A on the real one. And this is where you can find it on the fake. 03214 slash A. So at the back now, there is a difference here at the back. The writing is the same, but the font on the real one is a little bit bigger than the font of the fake. So let us hear the angels sing, baby. I'm going to take out the vintage first. This is history right here. I have previously owned something like six years ago a vintage bottle of Dior Homme Intense. This brings me a lot of memories. Like I've told you in my previous video when I did the unboxing, um, this was something like, so for the three of, uh, I got two Dior Homme Intenses and one Dior on Parfum for $130. So this would be 40, 45, $43 a piece. That's just a good price for a vintage baby. So the vintage, 
uh, has the um, black atomizer and the silver neck around it with Dior Om printed on it. It's actually pressed on it. It's carved. So this is the the vintage. And now let's take out the fake. They do both open from uh, from the front, you see. Yeah, and the same story here, you see. I've noted this. The the real ones have this cut, small cut right here, so it's easier for you to grab it so you can take the bottle out. But the fake is just hasn't been finished. So this this fake would need a little press so you can take it out, but they don't bother with this. So you can have the same cut here, so it's easier to, to take it out. Oh man, this is this just doesn't look good. Let's put the, the boxes back here. So you see the difference? Huge, huge difference. Yeah, this just doesn't look good. This is the real, this is the fake. Now keep in mind that I have seen some fakes for Dior Homme Intense with the silver um, neck around the atomizer. So it doesn't mean that if this one looks all kind of black and dark, there are not other fakes that look exactly, exactly like the, the authentic. So the size is the same. The fake one has a darker color. The actual glass is darker than the real one. And let us see another difference. The bottom, you see this thick, tall bottom on the fake. On the real one, it's not as tall, the bottom. The, the shape is the same. Yeah, big mistake here. So, this tells us right here, Eau de Parfum, but this right here says Eau de Toilette. It has the, the batch code right here, 9Y02. The fake has a batch code. This is 3Z03. But it's not the same from the box. This is 9P01. So this would be the vintage. This right here would be the vintage. And this right here cannot be the vintage. It should be 2013. And Z, I think, is December, and 0303 is the third week of December 2013. So, at the bottom, the batch code does not coincide with the batch code on the box. So, let's take a look at the back. There is no difference here. On the wall, the size is just the same. Let's take a look at the atomizers. The atomizer on the real one has no CD printed on. The fake one doesn't have a CD printed on, but I think they found a crooked atomizer. I don't know where they got it from. This looks like some small lines that you would find on your remote control to show you the volume button, something like this. The atomizer on the fake has the same height of the real one, except the fact that the, the rim, the neck of the atomizer is black in the fake, and the real one has the silver on. So I think these were the differences when it comes to... You, you can actually... 
you can barely see the Dior Homme Intense writing because the, the, the glass has this smoky like dark color. This tube inside, it does not go straight down from the atomizer. It goes to one side, you see? On the real one, on the authentic, the tube goes straight down, but on the, on the fake, it starts here and it goes a little to the side. So this was it. Let's take a look at the caps also. Let me see. Yeah, there's a difference here as well. So this is the real. This is the fake. So you see this? You see this shape? I don't know what's wrong with it. But the sh this shape, this line here, I don't know, they glued it together. I don't know what this has been used for, but on the real one, it doesn't exist. There's the CD logo as here as well on the fake, but this is transparent. You see, this has a white color. If you look through it, this one has a black color. The weight of the caps is kind of the same. The, the size is also the same on the caps. But this cap right here doesn't look really, really good. The Christian Dior logo, you see on the left cap, this is the authentic. And the Christian Dior logo on the fake doesn't look as good. If you look here from one side this is kind of transparent this is the place where the neck of the atomizer sticks in but on the fake you cannot see it from one side yeah you can barely barely see it this is this would be the place where the atomizer goes in you see on the real one you can see it on the fake one you can barely barely see it barely now guys i'm gonna do what I call putting my life on the line and I'm just gonna lay waste and spray it on my hand. So first I want to remind myself what the vintage smells like. Wow, wow man. Good distribution, perfect atomizer. Let me see it again. Yeah, it's unmistakable. You cannot mistake this one. So, I'm now gonna go for the fake one. God help me with this. Oh, it's already skirting. You, you, you've seen it? You, you, look. Oh man, this is bad. Yeah, it's, it's skirting every time I press it. You see? Guys, you won't believe me, but this one smells really good. But... It just doesn't smell like Diorum Intense. It smells good, but not like Diorum Intense. If you know the smell of Diorum Intense, you cannot mistake it. This one here... Smells kind of uh, floral. Yeah, I cannot, uh, I cannot be fooled by uh, by the smell of this one. And I have um, sprayed something like I don't know five, six on my hand, six sprays on my hand, but it's kind of weak when it comes to to power doesn't look like it projects good. The real one, yeah, I can smell it from, from a distance. I, I don't even need to, um, on the real one, I don't even need to take my hand to my nose. On the, on the fake one, I just gotta take my hand to my nose so I can smell it. So this was it, guys. 
be careful be very careful with the fact that there are some dear own intense fakes that are being sold as testers so they won't come in the in the black box they will come in those specific white boxes like the testers do so it's easier to to explain some uh, faults that the actual product has because hey it's a tester so guys this was it i want to thank you very much for watching my video i was expecting a better quality of this fake the the box looks really real well done but the fake i don't think it can fool you the color of the glass the, the atomizer that skirts the smell this doesn't fool you also this here says eau de toilette major major mistake so guys this was it this was the the presentation for the real versus fake thank you very much for watching thank you very much for supporting my channel right there in the background there are some fakes that i will do for next videos so starting from the left that is a bleu de chanel terre d'hermes carolina herrera ch man tom ford tobacco vanille versace eros and dolce gabbana i will do those as well as soon as i can so once again this is the fake and this right here is the authentic and until next time take care goodbye